Okay, mold control, cinch traps. Made in USA, tested and approved by the US Forest Service over 100 years. Uh, I'm not real big on them. Every time I set this thing, the mold pushes the dirt out. Somehow he pushes the dirt up to the little clamps and buries it. He buries the trigger and I got the hole plugged. And I pull it out and it's just buried inside there. So I don't do very good with them. Cost me $35 for them. And so, uh, mold box. Uh, and here's, I'm gonna go, let's go out and see. I set this thing, about six times this thing got away. I, I'll go out there, we'll go out in the garden and see if I can get this guy, okay? We'll see if we can get this guy right here, okay? He's in my garden, he's just tearing it up. I hope there's not more than one. I finally uh, got to my, try to try my new traps. I used them and used them and used them and all they did was bury them. These are called a cinch trap. If I got one there, I'll be amazed. I do got one. I'm amazed. It took me like six times to do this. They'd come out and they would just come bury the whole trap. They wouldn't get caught. I don't recommend them. They're too hard to catch traps, catch moles, and, and they uh, got sharp edges on them. They're real sharp. They didn't take the burrs off. Uh, I don't like that. You need to take the shirt so you don't get cut off. Otherwise, they set pretty easy. Uh, and they, and they, I guess they, they work okay, but I don't, I don't like them. I like the straight down ones that just poke right in the ground. This is my guard. That's why the dirt is so nice. Like this. It just, it's hard to catch them. They don't make uh, they don't make piles. They just it's so soft that they just go through underneath the underneath the ground. So that's called a cinch trap. I get thirty-five dollars for that. I don't I don't like these straps. They're very strong. Very strong, but they, they, go, they go around them. They bury them. They push this and they go around it, pile it all up with dirt, and you find a couple of dirt. So it's not real, not real hair trigger. I'm going to show you how to set this thing. We got a lot of fun here. I don't need this. Uh, maybe I got it too. Uh, you don't need sharp edges, so it's hard to hold on to it. And then this, this here, there's one of these things, like a mouse trap. There's two of them. One of them, it's really strong. You gotta take that thing and bring it on over and put this mouse trap thing over the top of it and hold it and then this thing over the top uh, right behind that little hook there then up once it's to that point you can hold this thing here what you got to do you cover this little loop this piece of wire with a loop on it twist it like an S and that just barely that, you put it over it and it's when you set it, then you pull it back a little bit and get it right close to the tip, so, so there's hardly hold in there, and that'll do it. But it took me six tries to get this mold. It took me six tries. I've been working for him for a week, and I've been tearing my garden up terrible. So, anyway, I guess I'll bury him 
right here because my hawks are all gone. Maybe I won't bury them in the garden. I'll bury them somewhere else. But that's uh, the cinch trap. I paid thirty-five dollars for that. Two of them. And if they were taking the sharp edges off of them, I would have been much, much more happy with them. It's awful thin metal here. Awful thin. Uh, but anyway, that's the way. I'm gonna try it again. You gotta do what they say. You gotta dig a great big hole in your yard. Great big hole so you're down below the two holes where the mold goes in. Right in the path, you gotta dig a huge hole. Then you gotta flip them in. It's gotta be as wide as this to get that in there. Put it in the hole. You put it in that hole and you shove it all the way into the edge. Shove the other one in the other direction. You almost have to have two because you don't know which way they're going. So you, and then you punch them in there and they're like two metal things right there. So that's the way they work. So hopefully I can get another one someday. They, I like the steel traps with the straight down. I've got about seven of them. I get them all the time. I got one set right now. I set it yesterday. I'm going to see if it's one in there.